Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth and seas, for you have made them. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Thursday, February 6th. It's the fourth week after the Epiphany and the scripture for this service. Psalm 74 and Genesis chapter 23, verse 1 through 20. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, O God, why have you cast us off forever? Alleluia, Psalm 74. Alleluia, O God, why have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger blaze so hot against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your people, which you purchased long ago, the rod of your inheritance, which you have redeemed, this Mount Zion, where you have dwelt. Lift your feet to the endless ruins, the enemy has laid waste to your sanctuary. Your enemies roar in the midst of your congregations. They set up their ensigns as signs of victory. They have struck like those with axes in a grove of trees, and now they break down the carved work with axes and hammers. They have set fire to your sanctuary. They have defiled the dwelling place of your name, and they have said in their hearts, let us destroy them and they have burned up all the places of God in the land. We see no signs, there is no prophet. None among us knows how long it will last. O oh God, how long shall the adversary reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you withhold your strong hand? Take it out of your bosom, for you are my ruler of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your strength. You broke the heads of the dragons in the waters. You broke the heads of Leviathan in pieces and gave him to be meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. You split open the fountain and the flood. You dried up mighty rivers. The day is yours and the night also and you have established the moon and the sun. You have fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You have made summer and winter. Remember, O oh God, that the enemy has scorned, that foolish people have blasphemed your name. Do not deliver the life of your dove to the wicked. Do not forget the congregation of your poor. Remember your covenant for the caves of the earth are the habitations of cruelty. Do not let the oppressed return ashamed. Let the poor and the needy praise your name. Rise, O God, and plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish revile you all the day long. Forget not the voice of your enemies, the tumult of those that rise against you continually increases. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Alleluia. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 23, beginning at verse 1. The span of Sarah's life came to 127 years, and Sarah died in Kira Araba, now Hebron, in the land of Canaan. And Abraham proceeded to mourn for Sarah and to bewail her. Then Abraham rose from beside his dead and spoke to the Hittites, saying, I am a resident alien among you, Sell me a burial site that among you, that I may remove my dead for burial. And the Hittites replied to Abraham, saying to him, Hear us, my lord, 
You are the elect of God among us. Bury your dead in the choicest of our burial places. None of us will withhold this burial plot from you for burying your dead. And thereupon Abraham bowed low to the people of the land, the Hittites, and he said to them, If it is your wish that I remove my dead for burial, you must agree to intercede for me with Ephron, son of Zohar. Let him sell me the cave of Machpelah that he owns, which is at the edge of his land. Let him sell it to me at the full price for a burial site in your midst. Ephron was present among the Hittites, so Ephron the Hittite answered Abraham in the hearing of the Hittites, all who entered the gate of his town, saying, No, my lord, hear me. I give you the field, and I give you the cave that is in it. I give it to you in the presence of my people. Bury your dead. And then Abraham bowed low before the people of the land and said, spoke to Ephron in the hearing of the people, saying, If only you would hear me out, let me pay the price of the land, accept it from me, that I may bury my dead there. And Ephron replied to Abraham, saying to him, My lord, do hear me. A piece of land worth four hundred shekels of silver, what is that between you and me? Go bury your dead. Abraham accepted Ephron's terms. Abraham paid out to Ephron the money that he had named in the hearing of the Hittites, four hundred shekels of silver at the going merchant's rate. And so Ephron's land in Machpelah near Mamre, the field with its cave and all the trees anywhere within the confines of that field, passed to Abraham as his possession in the presence of the Hittites, of all who entered the gate of his town. And then Abraham buried his wife Sarah in the cave of the field of Machpelah, facing Mamre, now Hebron in the land of Canaan, and thus the field with its cave passed from the Hittites to Abraham as a burial site. Here ends the reading. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God. Grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. And for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Gather us, O God, and save us from the adversary, that we may rise and praise you forever. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.